Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Forex, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to customize your toolbar to add additional ease of access buttons. Now, before I do proceed to the video, I would like to mention that if you would like to try out MetaTrader 5, or you're in the market for a new Forex trading platform and you're just looking for something new, feel free to try out MetaTrader 5 provided to us for absolutely free. This page can be accessed through the link at the very beginning or the very end of the video. I'll also be providing the same link down in the description below. It'll bring you directly to the demo signup page for MetaTrader 5. So all you'll need to do is fill out the demo signup form and you're ready to go. Now, as for this video, like I said, this will pretty much just show you how to add additional quick access buttons to make your life a whole lot easier on MetaTrader 5. That way you don't have to go through every single sub menu to get access to the features that you need. This will pretty much just allow you to do so on the fly with a single tap of a button. And this is especially helpful for traders that do trade very high frequency and are constantly scalping the market and looking to trade every single second or they're looking to monitor and really not focus on going through the different submenus just to gain access to a small widget. So if you have already seen our video on how to customize or add your hidden drawing tools for charts on this platform, this will follow a very similar method. So I'll just show you that real quick. I'll open up a chart here. So as you can see, I've already added quite a few different additional hidden drawing tools that aren't on by default. So as you can see, my toolbar may look a bit different than your own personal platform. That's because I right clicked on my toolbar here, went down to customize. And as you can see, and I've already shown this in depth in our other video here, but you can have access to additional available buttons that aren't presented to you by default. Now this can actually be done for our different symbols and our different buttons here on the top left as well. Pretty much for any toolbar section up at the top here. There's quite a few addition, additional buttons that can be added that aren't activated by default. So again, simply right click within our toolbar here and then we can go down to customize. One thing to keep in, in mind, we do have time frames which can be activated here as well if you would like to utilize those for your chart. So you can easily change the time frame of your chart with a simple click rather than having to go in here and or manually scale in and out of the time frame you'd like. So just keep that in mind. It's not activated by default. So it's worth keeping that in mind if you would like to utilize these different time intervals. So now back to our toolbar up at the top here. For all these additional buttons, simply once again, right click, but in this time, the section to the left over here, customize. And now as you can see on our left hand side here, we do have quite a few additional available buttons that can be utilized. It's worth mentioning that this giant line here actually is something that can be inserted. It's essentially just a separator that creates a new region for you. So if you would like to stay organized and for example, we'll place a separator right here. So now as you can see, we do have how it is laid out on the far right hand side. So you can come down here if I want to add a separator in between symbols, I'll do so. So now, as you can see, I have new charts, profiles. Then let's say I wanted to add a section just for printing. I could add my two printing available buttons here. So now I have our section for printing as well with a separator and then it goes into symbols. So if I click on symbols now, maybe I wanted to insert my navigator in the same section and maybe my indicators list for the same section as well that can be done so by inserting. If I want to put or manually add a period section, maybe I want to do that in the same section that I customized the actual chart type in. So I can do that by 
once again, highlighting line chart so it'll be added to that same section. Highlight periods, and then we can add it. So as you can see, it gets added right above. Maybe we can add step-by-step -step and some templates there as well. Maybe I'll add some options. That way I don't have to go into my file menu or the tools menu that is to access options every time. I'll add that in with my auto trading and new orders. And let's say, for example, our toolbox, which is down here on the bottom left, as you can see, it does take up quite a bit of space. So let's add that to our toolbar now. So if we close this out, as you can see, our toolbar has now greatly expanded from what it was by default. Just showing you how this works, let's say because it takes up so much space and I need to add some charts on my screen, maybe I want my chart to actually be bigger. If for whatever reason down the line, I need to open up my toolbox to display my account summary, I'll simply just now access our toolbox directly through our page here. Instead of having to go to view in toolbox or the same goes for any of these other small widgets here. They have all been now added to my toolbar. Now I don't have to go through the sub menus to do so. It was just really a quick, simple video just showing you how to make your life a bit easier on MetaTrader 5. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you'd like to try out MetaTrader 5 for absolutely free, use the link provided at the very beginning or the end of the video. This same link will be provided down in the description below to bring you directly to the demo signup page for MetaTrader 5. Thanks for watching this video.